For years, NASA swore by redundancy. Multiple spacecraft, multiple options, a safety net for every mission. But what happens when that safety net starts falling apart? With Northrop Grumman's Cygnus cargo spacecraft recently facing setbacks and Boeing's Starliner stuck in endless scandals, NASA is quietly shifting its bets. Meanwhile, SpaceX's Dragon just keeps proving one thing. It's the only spacecraft NASA can truly count on. So, is it time for NASA to admit the obvious? Let's break it all down in today's Tech Map episode. Imagine ordering a package online, only for the delivery guy to wrap his truck around a telephone pole before it even gets to your doorstep. That's essentially what happened with Northrop Grumman's Cygnus cargo spacecraft. Scheduled to launch in June on the NG-22 resupply mission to the International Space Station, Cygnus hit a snag before even making it to the launch pad. The problem? Damage to its cargo module's shipping container. Yep, it got dinged up before liftoff. Because when it comes to space travel, sometimes the hardest part isn't the launch. It's surviving Earth's logistical nightmare. NASA, caught in the domino effect, is now juggling cargo schedules. On March 5th, the agency announced it was assessing potential mission impacts due to the incident. Translation, they were peering into the metaphorical wreckage, trying to decide if this was a fender bender or a total loss. By March 7th, they still weren't sure if NG-22 would be delayed. I expect that we'll have to have some follow-on discussions and assessments to determine if there is spacecraft damage or any impacts to the overall mission schedule," said Dana Weigel, NASA's ISS program manager. So, in other words, we're still looking under the hood. Meanwhile, Northrop Grumman is inspecting the pressurized cargo module to check if it's fit to fly. Because nothing says cutting-edge spaceflight like ensuring your cargo ship isn't held together with duct tape and prayers. This is just the latest hiccup for NG-22, which already suffered a delay in February thanks to an avionics issue. With the risk of even more postponements, NASA is shifting cargo around like a stressed-out holiday shopper. The agency is now offloading some science experiments from the next SpaceX Dragon cargo mission. SPX-32, scheduled for April, to make room for extra food and consumables. Because while groundbreaking science is cool, making sure astronauts don't run out of snacks is just a tad more urgent. The real challenge was in just the large movement of our cargo missions, Weigel explained, adding that if NASA had known earlier about the NG-22 mess, it would have crammed more supplies onto last fall's flights. NASA hasn't revealed exactly how much science is being sacrificed in favor of food, but for context, November's SPX-31 mission carried nearly a ton of crew supplies and about as much science. The previous mission in March 2024 had the balance reversed, with more science than supplies. Now with NG-22's future in limbo, those proportions are shifting again. Another ripple effect? The handover between the incoming Crew-10 and outgoing Crew-9 astronauts at the ISS is getting shortened. Why? To conserve consumables. With 11 people on board, every extra day is another round of who finished the last pack of space ramen? What that really does for us is it just opens up more undock opportunities, Weigel said, adding that a quicker departure gives NASA flexibility to pick the best weather for Crew-9's return. Also, let's be real, fewer people on board means less stress on supplies, and nobody wants to explain to the astronauts why they're on an enforced space diet. The takeaway? Counting on Cygnus for cargo delivery is a gamble, and NASA knows it. That's why redundancy is key to their operations. But if you thought Cygnus was the only problem child, meet Boeing's Starliner. NASA's other backup plan, which has been on its way for years. It's like ordering an Uber that never arrives. Technically an option, but not one you'd want to rely on in an emergency. It's funny to think that over a decade ago, Boeing's Starliner was expected to help NASA astronauts finally stop learning Russian just to reach the ISS. 
Back then, Starliner was the golden boy, the pride of American spaceflight. Then along came a newcomer, SpaceX, with its shiny new Dragon spacecraft, getting more criticism than a bad karaoke singer at a talent show. Even Boeing couldn't resist throwing shade, secretly commissioning articles to undermine the competition. What happened next? SpaceX had the last laugh. In May 2020, while Dragon was soaring into orbit with Doug Hurley and Bob Behnken aboard, Starliner was still sitting on the ground, like an old car that won't start. If SpaceX Dragon is a Tesla, Starliner is that beat-up sedan that's been in the shop for five years but it is still waiting on a back-ordered part. While Dragon has been ferrying astronauts and cargo to the ISS on repeat, even scoring extra NASA contracts, Starliner has been trapped in a loop of delays, software glitches, and safety concerns. First test mission in 2019? Never even reached the ISS due to a software failure. Second test mission in 2022? It finally made it but the planned first crewed launch turned into a nightmare. Imagine a mission not just delayed for years, but also failing to bring astronauts back. That's right, two NASA astronauts who were supposed to be on the ISS for just eight days ended up stranded there for nine months. Starliner became less of a spacecraft and more of an accidental space Airbnb. The financial toll? Boeing has lost nearly $2 billion on the Starliner program. And despite all the setbacks, NASA and Boeing still aren't sure what comes next. So while NASA scrambles to reshuffle cargo, astronauts prepare for tighter supply chains, and Cygnus waits for its repair report, one thing's clear, space travel might be the future. But for now, it still runs on good old-fashioned delivery headaches and a whole lot of delays. SpaceX's spacecraft isn't just leading the race, it's defining the pace. Now let's dive into why Dragon keeps leaving the rest behind. For over 15 years, Dragon has been a reliable workhorse, consistently launching and delivering on its missions. Between 2010 and 2020, its first variant, Dragon 1, successfully completed 23 missions to the ISS. It also boasts historic milestones such as becoming the first commercially built and operated spacecraft to be recovered from orbit and the first commercial spacecraft to successfully rendezvous and dock with the ISS. Dragon began regular cargo flights in October 2012. Since then, Dragon has been a key player in NASA's Commercial Resupply Services program, working alongside Northrop Grumman's Cygnus. However, unlike Cygnus, which remains a cargo-only vehicle, Dragon evolved with the introduction of its improved version, Dragon 2. This new iteration comes in both crewed and cargo configurations, pushing SpaceX even further ahead. In 2015, Elon Musk stated that Dragon 2 could be reused with minimal rework and fueling, up to 10 times before needing a major overhaul. As of March 2024, SpaceX is working to certify it for up to 15 missions, an enormous leap in efficiency compared to Cygnus, which is entirely expendable. Like its predecessor, Dragon 2 has made its mark in spaceflight history. Its first uncrewed test flight, Demo-1, launched in March 2019, followed by the crewed Demo-2 mission in May 2020. Since then, Crew Dragon has become one of NASA's primary spacecraft for ferrying astronauts to and from the ISS, while Cargo Dragon continues to fulfill its role under the CRS program. Dragon's dominance in NASA's resupply missions is more than just a statistic. It's a clear sign of NASA's growing dependence on SpaceX. When Cygnus faced delays, thanks to the next SpaceX Dragon cargo mission, NASA can reshuffle scientific experiments in favor of food supplies. Meanwhile, Dragon continues to operate seamlessly, underscoring its reliability and the agency's increasing trust in SpaceX. In short, the future has become more clear, like a Dragon. With Cygnus struggling to keep up and Starliner stuck in an endless cycle of delays, 
one spacecraft remains NASA's go-to solution, Dragon. Its proven track record, reusability, and ability to transport both cargo and crew make it the undisputed champion of NASA's commercial spaceflight programs. While NASA may not officially declare a favorite, their actions speak louder than words. The agency is placing its trust and its missions on Dragon because, simply put, it works. So next time someone asks, what's the best spacecraft for NASA? The answer is obvious, Dragon. Oh, and why did NASA bring a ladder to Dragon? Because they're finally ready to climb aboard the best option. After breaking down the facts, would you say SpaceX Dragon is undisputedly the best spacecraft for NASA missions? If you're on Team Dragon, drop a Dragon in the comments. In addition to Dragon, there is also a new star coming, which is Sierra Space's Dream Chaser. The Dream Chaser space plane is set to revolutionize space travel as the first ever winged commercial space plane, paving the way for shared global access to low Earth orbit, LEO, and unprecedented international collaboration. Unlike traditional capsules, this sleek, reusable spacecraft combines the agility of an aircraft with the endurance of a space vehicle redefining how we transport crew and cargo beyond our planet. Designed for multi-mission flexibility, Dream Chaser can be customized for domestic and international customers, supporting a wide range of scientific, commercial, and governmental operations in space. Under NASA's Commercial Resupply Services 2 CRS-2 contract, its first operational model, Tenacity DC-100, will embark on at least seven critical cargo missions to and from the International Space Station, ISS. These missions will carry essential supplies, including food, water, and cutting-edge scientific experiments, ensuring the continued advancement of space research. What sets Dream Chaser apart is its gentle Earth return capability, delivering cargo at under 1.5 Gs making it an ideal solution for delicate science experiments and medical research that require a smooth landing. Even more impressively, it can land on compatible commercial runways worldwide, offering unmatched operational flexibility compared to traditional splashdown or hard landing reentry vehicles. With its high reusability, rapid turnaround times, and innovative design, the Dream Chaser fleet represents the next evolution of space transportation ushering in a new era of efficient, accessible, and sustainable space exploration for all humankind. As the wave of space commercialization surges, NASA now has more options than ever, thanks to the rise of private spacecraft. However, at this moment, SpaceX Dragon remains the undisputed leader. Its proven track record, reliability, and cost efficiency make it NASA's go-to choice for critical missions.